Hey everyone, welcome back to Alpha Logic Garage. Today we've got something special that I'm really excited about. We picked up this 2003 BMW 330i for just $800, and we're going to see if we can bring this back to life and flip it for some cash that we can put towards our next project. In this episode, I'm going to show you why this BMW is worth the investment. Take a look at its classic BMW styling. The E46 generation has aged gracefully, and even in its current state, it still exudes that timeless, sporty charm. The lines are clean, and the iconic kidney grille up front instantly screams BMW. It already looks very nice for a 20-year-old car, but after we get this running, I have a few ideas we can do to really make this car look great. Now let's step inside. The interior of the E46 330i is a testament to BMW's commitment to driver-focused design. The seating position is just right, and the materials used are top-notch. Even now, this cabin feels solid and well put together. However, its age is definitely showing in here, but nothing a little work can't help bring back. Under the hood, we've got BMW's legendary 3-liter inline-six engine that produces 225 horsepower. When you combine that with a near-perfect 50-50 weight distribution and sporty suspension, this is an extremely fun car to drive. It's known for its smooth power delivery and that signature BMW inline-six sound. Currently, this motor has seen better days, which is why we picked this car up for so cheap, but once we're done with it, this engine is going to run as good as the day it left the factory. I hope you're as thrilled as I am about this project. Our mission is clear, to transform this $800 BMW 330i into a dependable and impressive vehicle for its future owner. Plus, we're aiming to put some extra cash in our pockets for our next exciting project. We are going to dive headfirst into uncovering the challenges that have kept this BMW off the road. So let's roll up our sleeves and get straight to the process of getting this motor ready to pull the cylinder head off. First, I carefully removed the air box, top covers, and detached the wires connecting to the coil packs. This step was straightforward. There's a lever on top that, when pulled back, easily releases the wires. With that done, it was time to tackle the valve cover. I removed the securing bolts, took out the coils, and then carefully lifted off the valve cover itself. Next up was the fuel rail. After removing the bolts, there are little clips that you push out to the side that allow the rail to slip off of the injectors. Once the fuel rail was removed, I moved on to the intake manifold. There are many things connected to the bottom of the intake manifold that must be removed before it will come off. Okay, now on to the exhaust manifold. There are two heat shields that cover the bolts in the exhaust manifold. These make it difficult to see what you are doing, but I believe you may be able to pull these out. We loosened most of the bolts before we got them out of the way. We also disconnected the passenger motor mount and lifted the motor up, which gave us more room to get to these bolts. I was lucky to have my brother working with me to remove this as it was a real pain. We finally realized if we removed the washer reservoir and lifted the motor up with the passenger side motor mount disconnected, we would be able to access the bolts much easier. Once all of the exhaust manifold bolts were removed, we removed the bolts on the downside of the exhaust manifold, which freed up the headers and allowed them to pull away from the cylinder head. To wrap up our tasks in this episode, I decided to take off the front bumper. This step would simplify access to everything once we dive into pulling the cylinder head. The process turned out to be surprisingly straightforward, with just a few bolts, and it came off without a hitch. As we were working on this, I happened to spot an issue with the driver's side motor mount. It's seen better days. So I'm adding that to our list of items to replace. It's all part of ensuring this BMW gets the top-notch treatment it deserves. And that's a wrap for today's episode. I want to extend a huge thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in and joining us on this BMW refurbishment journey. Your support means the world to us. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching and found this episode informative. 
If you have any questions, thoughts, or suggestions, please drop them in the comments below. We love hearing from you, and your input plays a big part in shaping our content, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so you're the first to know when the next exciting episode drops. Until then, thanks for being part of the Alpha Logic Garage community, and we'll catch you in the next one.